Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Victoria makes Claire an unexpected offer, and Phyllis reacts to Lily firing Daniel and Heather. Cole and Victoria at Society discuss Claire going out on her own and Jordan being on the loose. Cole knows she can't hide forever. Victoria claims that she is evil and diabolical. Cole warns Victoria that they cannot keep Claire in a bubble. She hopes to find her position in the world. Mariah and Tessa appear by the bar, and Cole encourages Victoria to be patient with their daughter. Victoria tells him that's just what she needed to hear. Suddenly, Mariah and Tessa squeal and say, yes. Victoria wonders what that is all about. Cole Victoria Y and R. Cole and Victoria join the women and inquire as to what they are celebrating. Mariah and Tessa confirm that they closed on their new home today. It includes a yard, a large playroom for Aria, and a loft for a music studio. Tessa whispers into Mariah's ear. She apologizes, they're talking about their house while Victoria has just lost hers. Victoria assures them that she is thrilled for them. Tessa wonders if the tack house will always be Aria's first home. It's time to go, but it'll be hard. Cole recalls that he and Victoria formerly lived there together. Mariah invites them to come see it and share a bottle of champagne. Victoria asks Cole, how do you feel about taking a trip down memory lane? Tessa Mariah Y and R. Phyllis enters the jazz lounge and runs into Billy, who invites her to join him at the bar. Phyllis says, maybe another time. Billy offers to have one of her hangover concoctions delivered to her room in case she needs it. Phyllis says that he isn't reading the room. Billy figured a little back and forth could get her out of her funk. Phyllis discusses his battle with the Winters family. Trying to get some love and respect and not having success at any turn, and then they label you as difficult. Billy suspects they're not talking about him. More, photos from the YNR anniversary tribute. Phyllis doesn't care if others find her challenging. Billy claims he'll be okay at work, she should be concerned about her son. Phyllis hasn't spoken with him and wants to know what happened. Billy feels she is aware Daniel and Heather are back together. Phyllis pretends and takes credit for it. Billy warns her that there will be consequences if she brags too much. Not only to the company, but to the individuals involved. Like Lily. She was the last to find out, and as you might imagine, she's struggling with it. Phyllis Billy Y and R. Phyllis discovers that Devon and Lily were contemplating firing Daniel and Heather. Phyllis considers this outrageous. Omega Sphere is Daniel's baby. Is Lily that petty? She yells that if someone wants out of a relationship, you should let them go and wish them luck, not transform like a snake and go for the throat. You do not make vengeance your number one priority. That's so childless. Billy looks at her in wonder. Phyllis snaps, shut up. More, preview. Nikki's unwanted gift. Phyllis claims Devon and Lily are high on power and have no right to do this to her son. Billy admits he cheated on Lily. Phyllis scoffs that everyone in town has done it, saying, this is nothing new. Devon and Lily have caused their fair share of romantic misery. It is heinous to subject Daniel and Heather to this treatment because they are attempting to reunite their family. Billy Y and R. Heather reminds Daniel at Crimson Lights that they must continue to remember what is most important, their family has been reunited. Daniel groans, and we're unemployed. They begin to worry about money and need a strategy for the future. Heather will phone Michael to ask if he knows who is hiring, and Christine might have an opening for her. She urges Daniel to find something he is enthusiastic about, such as Omega Sphere. Heather is confident that whoever they pick to operate it will not do as well as him. This is like losing a piece of himself. Daniel agrees that the platform was his salvation. I couldn't replace it if I tried. Daniel is worried about what will happen to the game and Princess Louisa. Heather warns him that all they did was fall back in love, and Lily will make them pay for it. She says, maybe there's a chance we could get it back. 
Daniel is very certain Lily isn't feeling generous. Heather believes they had to try, if not for the platform, then for Princess Louisa and for Lucy's sake. More, former YNR performer dies at 76. Daniel does not want to hurt Lily, but Heather believes she has every right to be furious on a personal level, but no right to pursue his business and creativity. She wants to see the contract. There is a case here. Daniel believes it will be humiliating. Heather tells him that he deserves to keep his dream. Daniel receives a text from Phyllis asking to meet for a drink. He informs Heather that he does not want to get a scolding from his mother this evening. Heather claims that she probably just wants to congratulate them and offer her support. Daniel agrees to go. At the ranch, Cole and Victoria tell Claire that they want to show her where it all started. Cole Victoria Claire Y and R. Mariah and Tessa welcome Cole, Victoria, and Claire to the tack house. They explain that they took their daughter to see where they once lived. Introductions are made. Mariah assures Claire that she does not need to apologize to them, they have done many things over the years that they are not proud of. They discuss getting together one night. Cole marvels at how much has changed, but time appears to have stood still. He informs Claire that this is where he and her mother fell in love. Arya screams upstairs, and Mariah and Tessa excuse themselves. Claire moves about the kitchen while Victoria asks Cole what he is thinking. He observes, you and I live here. They had some great times. And some that weren't so good. Claire listens as they discuss a fight in a blizzard during which Cole left the house without trousers. Claire inquires as to the nature of their argument. They laugh and say it was probably something foolish. We were just kids. Claire enjoys the place. I can imagine the two of you being happy here. Mariah and Tessa reappear with Aria, and Claire requests to hold her. More, Hunter King's passionate message to her new man. Claire expresses gratitude to Cole and Victoria for including her at the ranch, and she want to hear more of their experiences. Cole talks on how his stay there eventually lead him having her. Claire sees Victoria has been quite quiet. Is everything okay? Cole thinks Victoria has a certain expression when she has an idea. Victoria smirks, knowing he can still read her. This may sound a little insane, but it might be fantastic. What are your thoughts on living in the tack house? Cole Victoria Claire Y and R. Claire is surprised that she wants her to move and wonders if she did anything wrong. Victoria informs her, you would be moving there with me. Claire smiles. Oh. Victoria reminds her that she is family. Cole believes it's an excellent concept. They'll still remain on the Newman property, providing security. Victoria looks forward to Katie and Johnny returning home for spring break to meet their older sister. She's told them all about herself. Claire cannot believe she has siblings. It's a little overwhelming. Victoria claims that as Mariah and Tessa moved, it appeared that the cosmos was providing them with a place to call home. Cole is welcome to visit as frequently as he wants. Claire inquires, so, when can we move? She and Victoria hug. Cole Victoria Claire Y and R. Later, outside, Victoria and Cole discuss the nice weather and the approaching spring. He wraps his arm around her shoulders as they recollect about their previous dispute.